So there are three goals in living what I call the integrated life. The integrated life means uh, living a life where you do what you want to do and you get rewarded for it. <laughs> so the best example is obviously, um, since I'm talking about my topic, it's my life. Uh, since I was talking to a client of mine today and he was like, wow, you know, you're integrated, your life is so integrated, it's so amazing because, you know, I, I'm, I'm talking to, I'm, I wake up in the morning, you know, I do my, my regular habits, routine, you know, meditation and stuff, then I go work out and when I work out, I upload uh, videos on the way so that fits my, my schedule and then I post pictures while I work out which also works and then I do more videos when I come back which also works and you know the more videos I do the more um, you know more fame I get the more marketing I get the more clients I get and I do the coaching calls you know where I want when I want and the clients again I can do them while driving even the client calls so it's all integrated meaning I just do what I like to do and obviously you know there are some constraints to some proportion but yeah generally I, I just do what I want and I, I get rewarded very much for it so I'm not saying that you know I just do whatever I have a focused set of behaviors but the thing is, I love these behaviors. They make me feel good. Everything makes me feel good about my day. So there are three qualities that are responsible or that you should focus on when you want to create the integrated life. And I made the mistake a few years ago of only focusing on the first two qualities rather than all three. And that resulted in a lot of frustration and eventually me completely letting go of that lifestyle because I thought it's not working, you know. What I was promised uh, isn't working. I was promised that freedom would make me happy. So the three qualities are number one, you do what you love. Number two, you get rewarded for doing what you love. And number three, and that's the kicker, that's where the real niceness comes from, you get growth from doing these things. So let me explain. Number one, uh, you do what you love. It's pretty damn simple. Make a list of the things you love to do, or things you think you'd love to do, that's the list of things that you're gonna base your life around you're gonna take these things that you love to do and you're gonna create your life in a way where by doing them you actually get results you actually make more money uh, get clients you know and it's it's directly proportional the more you do what you love the more you, the rewards you get and my client asked me like how do I know the difference like how do I know if it's something I want to do or not because he was having trouble with uh, articles I told him like go all out do articles YouTube videos do everything and he was like well you know the articles uh, I feel so bad about them like I, I have to force myself to do it and even then it's hard so I explained to him that the the test is what I call leaning forward or leaning backwards. Is what you're doing, like are you looking forward to do it? And let's say you're depressed or you don't wanna do it, are you trying actively, are you fighting just to get it done because you wanna do it? Or are you leaning backwards, meaning you're looking for excuses not to make it happen, you know? And anytime something comes up and you can't do it because you're stressed, you know, you're depressed, you're too tired, you're like, yay, I'm not going to do it today. You actually feel relieved. So I set my life, up, my life up where every single thing I do is something I love. You know, from meditation to writing 
uh, to working out, to the videos, to coaching calls, and many, many more. I love everything I do. So if I miss a day or I can't do it or if I'm tired or if I'm depressed, I'm not like happy. I'm not like, yay, I missed, you know, I, I didn't do it or I don't feel, I just like, okay, I want to do it. Like, how do I, you know, fix it? So if I'm depressed, I'm like, okay, that's just, uh, it's just, it's going to make it harder, but I'm definitely going to do it. I'm not like, oh, I'm depressed, so I'm not going to do it. Done. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so that's the idea. Again, n- number one in the integrated life principles is do what you love so you need to to, the life needs to be uh, so that you do what you love second part and get rewarded for it what does this mean you it's your job to first of all find what you love it's your job nobody else needs to help you find what you love unless you pay them for it so once you found what you love, which again, it's your job to discover it, your job, your second job, is to create a mechanism, find a way, find a, a, a structure where you can do what you love and get rewarded for it. One of the most amazing examples of this I saw, I've seen, sorry, uh, was a girl who was a painter, just a regular painter girl from Toronto, I think. And I, I tried Periscope for a while. Per- Periscope is like this app where you do live streams and people can comment and stuff. So, you know, it's mainly used for lectures or, you know, people showing you around places. So this girl literally just put up a tripod and starts painting. And she paints for, I think, five, six hours a day. She loves the heck out of it. And she just paints. You know how many followers she has there? Three million followers. She gets about 200,000 people viewing her every day. And all she does is paint and talk about painting. (laughs) So she's living the integrated life. Because that's 200,000 eyeballs that, you know, companies would pay millions for. And... Now, not just they, they pay millions just for like an ad that you know lasts for like 30 seconds. Imagine if she um, promotes it somehow, you know, put it puts it on the side of the canvas or something. Like this is a five-hour video. You know, companies are gonna pay big bucks for that. Let, let's say like this: you get 200,000 views per video. You have everything you need. Like you, you don't. You're not missing anything in terms of resources. She can, she can turn, you know, she can use these paintings and, uh, you know, upload them to these websites where you, you know, you get 90% of the money uh, for people buying them, you know, and people can buy them in small, large, and they just print them and send them for her. Uh, she can make T-shirts out of her paintings. She can sell her fucking paintings themselves for thousands of dollars, tens of thousands, you know. So, you know, whatever she can, like people like, you know, what's the best way to make money? You know, there is no best way, you know, and if, even if there is, that's scarcity thinking. You want to create a situation where you have so much attention that now you have an abundance of ways to make money. So instead of being like, oh no, I have one shot, like I have so little energy and so little time, what's the one way to make money quick? You want to create a situation where you have so much attention and following where now you have abundance and you can pick which way you prefer so I can do it like this I can do it like that and you know that either way you're gonna make money because people equal money so enough people you know you can make money off of uh, anything you can do the worst website worst landing page you know worst product if you have enough people watching you know some of them are gonna buy Uh, so so create a situation where you have such an abundance of people that the strategy doesn't matter as much. Uh, the reason you focus so much on strategy is because you don't have any attention. You're trying to make the most out of a little. You, what you want to do is create a lot and make the most out of a lot. <laughs> so, so that's the second thing. Again, then that's just an example of um, one structure that you can take. Again, there's so many ways today 
and um, you know people if you're a writer you could just write an infinite amount of books and just post them and you know there's many publishing sites where you can make money off of it uh, you know if you're like me you're a coach type you know you can see what I do I just make videos I talk about what I love I I help people I live my life and and I just get you know clients for that and you know that's really good money um, you know there's so many ways so many ways but you really have to understand first what you love because until you realize what you love like again make a list what are the things that I do for free if I could you know then take these things and now you ask how do I create a structure where I get attention for that or where I get sales for that and if you need help with that make sure to contact me because I can help you make that a lot better than you think so that's the sec that's the second part now the third part is that's the, again that's the key because I didn't have the third part is growth it's something you you have to create a life where you do what you love you get rewarded for it and it continuously grows so you know as I said maybe too many times <laughs> I I didn't do the third step and it fucking sucked I would make over fifteen thousand dollars a month working maybe 20 hours a week but because I stopped growing you know I just kind of relied on my faculties and I just you know I had people contacting me enough people to make that much money and I just stopped I just stopped putting in the effort and stopped growing and you know I just I started really wasting money going to uh, really expensive restaurants just kind of jerking off all day seeing movies really bad so what I learned was that the reason I felt so bad the reason I, I got so depressed even though I had everything is because people they don't care as much about what they have they care about growth so of course as long as you have the minimum like as long as you're not starving for money and stuff what you really care about is not having a lot it's growth like you ask me like Robbie do you, would you rather have like a hundred million dollars right now <clears throat> and never make more money in your life or would you rather make you know this year a million next year five million then 10 then 15 then 20 then 30 then 40 you know but you know over a long period of time I would take the long period of time because I I know that if you don't do it well because of growth you won't appreciate it you're not going to treat it well you're probably going to destroy it by the way that's why 80% of lottery lottery winners um know they go in debt imagine that like you win a million dollars you go in debt in like three years figures 80 90 percent by the way I mean like like you'd almost prefer not to win <laughs> with these odds it means you have a one to five chance of not going in debt after you win a million dollars you know <laughs> but but of course they don't they won't show you that you know in the advertisements for the lottery <laughs> um, so these are the three uh, main components and what I mean by growth is for example that girl that paints you know the more she paints the more people kind of follow her around watch her stuff the more it grows so you know it's itself it's self-sustaining it makes itself grow more and more the more she does it uh, the more videos I make the more I grow so again there's a growth aspect to it and the growth is always exponential when you're talking about online stuff but even if it's not even if it's just linear it's still amazing to grow uh, the reason for that is because you know imagine how much I'm making right now from uh, what I have imagine that you know if I if I persist with this behavior for a year you know I'll have probably um, five ten times more um, people contacting me and following me and five to ten times more means you know five to ten times more money probably even more because I'll be the more in demand you are the more you you know you kind of raise the prices naturally just to have the time to help everybody so again uh, you have to love it so make sure you find what you love you have to get rewarded for it so there has to be a reward mechanism you know take what you love to do right now just find a way to get a reward out of it 
And then thirdly, that reward mechanism, it has to be constantly growing. Because if it's not, you're not going to appreciate it. You know, you're not going to go to the gym just to stay the same size, even if you look good. Um, I mean, that's, I think, the best, the best example. Like, you know, it doesn't matter how good you look. If you go to the gym and you're not growing, you know, you're going to get bored. So, just like every video, <laughs> I hope this video makes sense. I hope you understand everything. And uh, I don't really talk about the technical shit in this video, but, you know, this is kind of an introduction to my way of thinking that I reached after years of good decisions and horrible decisions um, and a lot of life experience. <laughs> so, um, yeah, trust me on this. And really the, the main key behind it is like, you're perfect just the way you are like stop fucking trying to change yourself to fit the world or to fit other people we live in an age where you can just be you and make money off of it you don't even need to have a talent to make money off of yourself so it's more of a fuck you to the world you know that told me all this time to, to that I need to change that I'm not good enough this is good to, even to myself like no I need to like this I need to love this nope you can be just who you are and make a lot of money doing it and you know you make money by the actions you take so obviously what are you going to take the most action and the most high quality action on things you love so uh, follow this formula again you need to love it needs to reward you and needs to provide infinite growth you need to understand what you love you need to create a mechanism for you to make money or get your rewards whatever they are for you out of it and you need to grow let me know if you need help with that I'll definitely make more videos about that in the future thanks for watching so far leave a comment if you did I'd love to know if you watched this far because it's pretty damn far it's almost 20 minutes Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more great content.